Hi everyone, another basket I like to share with you. It made by request and this time we make the hexagon shape basket. The paper I have here, the wide side is four and a half and the long side is nine inches. Very simple. You go on to fold it in half. Very easy. This is how I see uh, how I show my kit to make the hexagon. So now on the right side, you go on to fold right into the center and mark the line right there. And then from here, you go on to mark the line right there. The corners of the bottom right go up to where you mark. Same on this side, you're going to do exactly the same. Whatever you make in the hexagon shape, remember I use four and a half, and then the long way is nine. So if you make it four inches wide, and then the long way have to be eight. So you have to remember that. Keep it, um, keep in mind, everyone. That's how you easily make the hexagon. Using the fail, the fabric for the inside. By using this, I'm going to fold it like this, everyone. Fold. And then I place this fold right at the fold of this. Just like that. The fold of the fail fabric and the fold where we mark it here, right here. So cut this out and then cut two more, two fabric side. You can do one on each color if you want to, but my, I'm going to cut the same shape. You see? That's how you do everyone, okay? So go ahead and find the two fabric. Cutting the set. Oh my God, you know what? I sit right next to the window and it's sunlight to come in. Look at my hand. I've been dead for 500 years. So get two fabric, one for the inside, one for the outside. There's no line in here. So everyone, after I cut the three, so I'm, I decide to use the same fabric for the inside and the outside. That, that nicer and also I just want to get rid of the fabric so I have the right side facing out and then the fail fabric in the middle and then the other side on the top so right side facing out and the, the fail fabric is inside all right now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything stay good together you can use bait and stitch go all around just want to make sure first I'm going to clip this all around. I'm going to go ahead and balance it all around this this um area right here. And then after that, we're going to uh, sew. So I'm going to go ahead and do balance it. Everyone here know how to do this. Very simple. So the hexagon have the corners, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. So you go on to go right across like this, and then you go on to draw the line. I'm using the fabric marker. This is washable, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so draw the line. If some of you are an expert, you don't need to draw the line, but I'm showing the people who never sew know how to do this. So I get that line and this line go down to this one. You still have to make sure that you put the pin in between two, everyone. So not to move, not to go in crazy, okay? So make sure you do that too. Even though you have the thing going on there, the bait instead, 
but you just want to make sure like that okay super easy so just like that but go very slow everyone you don't need to run anywhere unless you know, someone chase you but try your best to do that go slow and make sure you hold on to it next one you don't need to cut this out you can pull this out like that and then you go into the next one continue to do so everyone go lie the same way look at this everyone look like one of the day my head will be like this, spider web brain. All right, you know what happened the other day? I came home. I have the, my uh, my glasses I put right on top of my head, and then I I saw something on the floor, kneeled out, picked it up, and what happened? My glass fall down. At the same time, I get up and walk. You know the story after that. And now I have to wait to get another one. So go ahead and take the the bathing stick. When you take out the bathing stick, isn't that look so beautiful? So pretty. Love it. And everything will look better too. So now I'm going to go this way this way this way and this way okay and then i also do another zone exactly the same so i'm gonna show you how to draw the line and then you sew it we want to make things that moon you know i don't want to people fall asleep so i will stack this corner right here i will start about like i'm not gonna do a big one but i want to start about an inch away So now connect this to this. So now you have smaller, smaller, smaller. So do another one here and here and here and here. So do two more, everyone. You're going to sew exactly the same way that we sewed the straight line out here. Do the same thing inside of here. For this one, I just want to share with you something. When you sew, just go ahead and show you. Okay, so when you meet the line, this is the first line when I started. And now it meet together and don't do, don't take it out or anything like that. Keep your needle down and then you go down to the next line. It's okay to sew down a little bit down here so you can start the line. That's where you don't need to cut the thread. See, I go to the next line right here and I start the next line of the web here. I call it a spider web. So start the next line and the next next one. And when you make to the new one, go down and do that. Okay? Everyone, look at this. Look at my spider web. I am finished with with this only. And now we go on to sew the bias tape all around. I got this from Walmart. It's a dollar ninety seven. I think they sell by color and size. So the one that I have here is the full is a quarter of an inch and the total is half an inch but already full. For this, I'm going to do this. 
so like fold one like this together okay i don't need to do one at a time i'm doing this but i'm main thing to show you how to turn the corners right here but i'm showing you right now how to turn the corner so you're going to sew all the way to here go right to the corner and then from here you're going to get this one the next line go over and then do this fold it back in kind of pushing the line over but you when you push you go on to make sure this line right here meet the line right here so it's not broken or anything like that kind of push your finger over the to, to turn this way now you see it meet right here and then start the new line so it all the way down to the next line and i will show you again it is super easy so now you see this and then you come to here another right here you're gonna go to the next line that's okay like this right and then you go on to kind of push your finger over like this going back and forth at the corner you go on to push it over when you push it over you make a new line and also you curve in this corners right here like that and make the new one go all around to do exact the same way but you have to sew all the way to here to the corners where inside here i can feel that it's the pointy that the corner right there stop right there before you make a new line you can still wrap it wrap it around here but you're going to hold it back and forth you see and in the back too hold it in right here and then i push this side over when I push this side over, I'm going to make sure it's lined up right here too. Like that. Okay, when it's lined up, continue to sew on the next line. I will show you over the sewing machine so you can see. But go very slow so you can have a chance to move things around. So I'm going to go ahead and put the needle down just to hold that place for me. So very close here all the way. So everyone, we are good to go to fold this together. Look at that, all that sewing with no problem. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six corner right here that we need to fold. So each corner here, we're gonna fold in this way. Okay, everyone, pay attention. So make sure when you fold, everything is good like that. When you fold that in, on the top here, that two, you go on to mark half an inch a three four of an inch i'm not going to go into one inch and then at the fold out i go two inches and then connect that two inches to three four of an inch we're going to sew that line this line right here do that Okay, and then the next one right here, we're going to do exact the same.
I don't need to show you how to sew this one. Just run the line. Go from here to here. And then from there, all, the, all six of them. Okay, everyone? So go ahead and do that. That's it, everyone. I finished. Isn't the snowman look so cute? Look at that. Adorable. The uh, fabric marker right there is not the one that you draw on your shirt. This one washable. When you wash, it will be gone. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. It's the, the video a bit long. Sorry about that. Stay safe and take care. Love you all. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support my channel.